Out of the new images of suspects wanted in a crime spree along the main line. Police in Radnor say they're investigating a series of thefts at the St. David Shopping Center. Action News reporter Maggie Kent live now in Wayne this afternoon with the story. Maggie, you've got the details. Yeah, Brian, I spoke to one of the latest victims and she says she knew exactly what to do. Wear her handbag across her body. It was zipped up, but these guys are professionals. She never saw it coming. I was cornered and I was trapped, unfortunately. It happened in a matter of seconds as Lee's Corson was shopping at HomeSense in St. David's Shopping Plaza in Radnor Township. Three people working in concert crowded her cart, acting as if they were grabbing items from the shelf. At that point, the woman went in and stole my wallet. I didn't feel a thing. I didn't know until I tried to check out. Corson realized the theft immediately and soon realized she was not alone. When I was speaking with the policeman, a woman came up to us and started to talk about how this same exact thing happened to her girlfriend on that Saturday. This was a Tuesday. Radnor Township Superintendent Christopher Flanagan says they've seen a spike in thefts at St. David Shopping Center. We've had five incidents um, from December of 2023 to the end of the month in January. Police are looking for these three suspects who were seen driving a white Jeep with a South Carolina license plate, 3028 RU. What happens is they immediately go to high-end places like an Apple store, a jewelry store, and attempt immediate transactions before you have time to even think about it. Corson says she'll be back, but shared this morning. Don't assume that just because it's St. David's in Radnor Township that you're safe from theft. Now, Radnor Township Police are working with Upper Marion Police because, as they say, those thieves immediately start swiping those credit cards, some of them heading to the King of Prussia Mall. If you happen to recognize them, Radnor Township Police wants you to give them a call. We're live in Wayne, Maggie Kent, Channel 6, Action News.